Why, hello there, friends, and welcome back. For those of you who are new, my name is Nami, and today we're going to be leaving everything up to fate with some Stardew Valley randomized. Alright, before we get started, I would like to encourage you to please feed the algorithm by liking, commenting, and or subscribing. And now, let's get to it. So to start off, we're going to be using random.org to randomize our character. We are going to roll, I think, from 1 to 5, and then press the chance button as many times as we roll. So, Alright, so what we got was a 4. Hold on. Let's see. Do we want to go remix? Oh well, I guess we should roll for that too. Huh? Getting a little ahead of myself, I think. Just a bit excited. Okay, so four times. Interesting. Hmm. Well, that's what we ended up with. I suppose mail is fine. I didn't exactly. Well, I guess we should roll for that too. Hmm. This is supposed to be that way. So, here we go. And we spirit say female. With a beard. <laughs> Why not? How about our animal? Do we want a kitties? How many? <laughs> yes, kitty cats. Hello, sweetie. So, how many options are there? There's the one. Six. Okay, so. Our answer was three. Whoops. So we get our little kitty cat. Alright, so name wise. Hmm. Well. Well, I know what I want to name the farm. It's my favorite thing to name the farms. My husband came up with it. Fuck it, farms. Now what should we name our little lady here, hmm? Three hours later. There we go, we named her Lucky. <laughs> Alright, so let's decide which farm we're gonna have. Well, we're not gonna do this one. We don't need it, so roll from one to six. And we received six. Hey, beach farm, nice. All right. Well, <laughs> thank you, dear. Let's check out our things. Do we want it remixed or not? Remixed it is! And mine rewards? Regular it is? I think we're gonna set everything else it's pretty basic for now. Maybe in another time we'll do something a little more complicated, huh? All right, let's get lucky with her little beard started. And for my very special granddaughter, I want you to have this sealed envelope. No, 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 don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Yeah.
and your bright spirit will fade before growing emptiness. That's so sad, Grandpa. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. That's kind of sad. Now let Grandpa rest. Thanks, I guess. Several years later? Yes, we kept it in our desk, and every day we opened our desk and we looked at it and we said, I'm not crushed enough by the burden of modern life yet, but now I am. Dear Lucky, thank you for your input, sweetie. <laughs> Dear Lucky, if you're reading this, you must be in a dire need of change. Thank you for your input, kitty cat. <laughs> the same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and I moved to the place I truly belong. What? I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, fuck it far. <laughs> it's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grant. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy with me for you. For me, will you? Oh, you must be lucky. I hope so. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's right here now, tidying things up for your rival. He's right there. Yes. The farm's right over here if you follow me. This is fucking fun. Oh my god, it's in shambles. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, I'll have it cleaned up in no time. Thanks. And here we are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, Mayor of Pelicantown. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in, it's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage? It's a good house, very rustic. <laughs> rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude. Yeah, rude, thanks. Don't 
listen to her, Lucky. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied, so you'll buy one of her house upgrades. She got called on it. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Cool, cool. Thanks. Bye, I guess. Oh, no? Oh, and I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect. Well, good luck. Thanks, Lewis. Bye. Oh, bye to Robin. Okay, bye, I guess. Alright, cool. Alright, nice. Now excuse me while I fix this layout. Be right back. Thank you for your input, sweetie. Be right back. And we're back with our thing all set up nicely. We've got our journal here telling us what we should do. Got to meet everybody. Of course, we've already met the two people that we talked to yesterday. And it appears we have a gift. Do you think he snuck in during the night to leave out there? You received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Mayor Lewis. Well, thanks, Lewis. Alright, so we're not going to be rolling to see if we should check the TV, because it's just kind of a basic thing. And I am going to have rules and specific for what I roll, but I am going to change them as the time goes on, because right now I can't really do much. And the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be clear and sunny all day. Thank you so much, television. All right, let's go. Oh boy, so, okay, since it's the first day, what we're gonna do is start by clearing our farm a little bit and then go from there. Okay, cool. Now we've got enough wood to build a chest, which is always needed in every game ever. And we'll just stick that near the front door for convenience. Store our little extras in here. There we go. Alright, in terms of planting our parsnip seeds, I thought we would roll to see how many we can plant today. So, our answer is 12. Nice, that's a decent amount. Alright, so here we go. And there's six. And twelve. Nice. Let's stick the rest in our box. And then water them. There we go, and now we'll stick our watering can back in our chest. Alright, from here I thought we would go introduce ourselves to some townsfolk. Since it's still the beginning, I don't have any intentions to roll or anything like that. But in the future, we will be doing things like that to make things more complex. Also, let me just rearrange this. Here we go. Oh, 
We will add, seeing as it's the first day, we will be picking up foraging things. However, in the future, we will be rolling to see if we can. And here's our first townsperson. Hello, Harvey. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. I hope you'll find your own work equally rewarding and tiring. Thanks, Harvey. That's very kind of you. Oh, what's this? It's a calendar. Wow, I've never seen a calendar before. That was a joke. Hello, hello! Oh, that's right, I heard someone new was moving into that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Okay, so you just made a home out of my farm. Cool. Why, hello, and welcome to our little community, dude. You can call me Granny if you'd like. I'm probably not going to do that, but thanks. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay, I'm Jody. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farm around could really change things. That's neat, thanks Jody. What was she expecting? I'm just gonna sneak on into this house. It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Butt off. That's weird. Some gold ore on the first day, neat. Guess she really is lucky. Oh well, fun. Oh, the new farm we've all been expecting, and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot, and I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. You too, Elliot. Er, hi, I'm Clint. I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. Cool, thanks, Clint. Ew, Jojo Mart. I used to work here. Gross. Alright, let's store the stuff we found. Nice, nice. Okay, let's see who else we can find to bother. I mean, introduce ourselves to. And here's Robin again. Hello, Robin. Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. I agree. And here's Robin's husband. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thank you for introducing yourself. Your stepfather, too. <clears throat> Anyways. I'm studying the local plants and animals for my own level resort. Aren't you special? Have you met my daughter, Mara? She's interested in meeting you. Neat. Thanks. Can you guys tell who one of my least favorite characters is? <laughs> Hey, Linus. A stranger? Hello. Don't mind me. I just live out here alone. Okay. Wow. I live over there alone. So, it's cool.
Well, all right, friends, we're going to be ending this episode of our Stardew Valley Randomized here. Hey, leveled up already. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I love you all very, very much. Please remember to feed the algorithm on your way out by liking, commenting, and or subscribing. And I hope you have a good week. Bye-bye.